Hi Taurus and welcome to your Mercury Retrograde Tower reading. Mercury is going to retrograde in the sign of Libra, which is seventh house energy, which is the house of relationships, all your relationships, friends, family, romance, as well as your karmic energy. And this is the last of the Mercury retrogrades for 2021 through the air signs. So we're going to take a look and see, um, you know, the story of all of them and what they've been teaching you and then dive deep into this last retrograde, which goes from September 22nd, I'm sorry, September 27th through October 18th. So let's get in, Taurus, what is going on for all the Taurus with this retrograde. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups, Seven of Cups, and the Sun. Oh, nice, Taurus, beautiful. Okay, so <clears throat> in the first retrograde of Mercury, we had moving through Aquarius back into Pisces. Um, I'm getting a, um, two different things for you guys. So some of you, this is where um, a relationship ended and somebody walked away from you or you walked away from them. And this could be a friend, a family member, or romance, okay? Or this could be where somebody actually came back into your world with this retrograde and that's end of January through February, okay? So for the first three months of the year, I'm seeing um, an ending or a returning of energy, okay? Because with this, all these cups, I mean, you've got cups here, you've got cups here. You've been working on a lot of emotional lessons, Taurus, through your relationships, okay? You're gaining emotional maturity, expanding the spirit. And so this ending or this returning is part of that lesson, a part of that growth. And then we come here to mid-year for the second retrograde, um, pretty much through June, in the sign of Gemini. And here it is, all the possibilities of what could be, okay? Um, and so I would say for the first half of the year, Taurus, you've had a lot of ups and downs emotionally in your relationships, all of your relationships, okay? Or one very specific relationship, but a lot of ups and downs, a lot of confusion, a lot of back and forth, a lot of uncertainty, and every bit of that has been teaching you and growing you emotionally. That's what you've been working on, as well as balancing old karmic energies for this retrograde because you've got the sun, Taurus, coming in for this last retrograde of Mercury of the year. And Saturn is gonna be going direct during this time frame, which means your karma is clean in many, many ways, but it's time for happiness for Taurus. It's time for a major blessing for Taurus emotionally to come in with this retrograde. So that's beautiful. You did your work. You've learned those emotional lessons, Taurus. Let's pull some more cards. And everything, all the confusion that may still linger, you're going to have ultimate clarity. Old wounds, old pain, you're going to have deep healing, all right? You are about to be majorly blessed. Wake up call. Look at, you got the sun coming in there. Correct your mistakes. Detach from drama. Okay, so these emotional lessons have really been waking you up to you, Taurus. What do you want? What do you need? But also with correct your mistakes, there's also been some lessons to make you see yourself, your shadow, your flaws, things that need um, working on. Okay, so you've seen it both ways. Um, 
in in your relationships, your friendships, your family, your romantic um, situations, you see what needs balancing, um, what's not compatible with you, who you really are, what you really need, where you're giving more um, than you're receiving, but also seeing this side of you where um, if you get too angry or you're insecure or you're too jealous, like whatever it is, like you've become very aware of that about yourself and you've been working on that. Like you've done a lot of work here, Taurus, absolutely. And now it's time with Detached from the Drama. This last retrograde is like sweeping you clean, all right? It's you don't need to hurt anymore. Um, you don't need to suffer. It's time for happiness. It's time for connection. It's time for healing. It's time for things to go well in relationships for you. Okay, so let's pull some more cards. Whoa, this one flew out. Be patient, all right. All right. Reveal your truth. Look at that, yeah. And over here, be vigilant. Nurture all you love. So, sun, detach from drama with be vigilant and nurture all your love. This retrograde that we are about to go into is for Taurus to have good love, beautiful love, strong connections in all of your relationships. It's time for the positive. It's time for the shadow energies to return to the shadow, so to speak, because you've done the work, okay? You're walking away from the fake, the phony, the fantasy, the pretend, the incompatibility and you're moving into a time of blessing of unity of love of support and it goes both ways Taurus you're giving that out but you're also receiving that and you've had to be patient okay and for some of you this could have been an important relationship that severed at the beginning of the year all right and you've both been working on yourselves and now through this retrograde i see a high probability and potential for healing okay and if somebody returned to you during this retrograde you guys have been working through the ups and downs to get this figured out balancing karma all right and you've done the work and now it's time for the happiness the bliss the joy the unity so let's um pull some cards to look specifically at Mercury moving through Libra retrograde and uh, what all of this means for you. If I could just hold on to the cards, let's see. Ooh, two of pentacles coming out of the imbalance. All right. Two of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Temperance. Okay, Taurus, I am torn between two messages about this retrograde. Okay, um, some of you, <clears throat> this is definitely a deep healing to a relationship, okay, a deep, deep healing, and this, again, it could be somebody who has returned um, to you, and you guys have been working through it, and it's like, finally, you're getting it right, okay, or this is somebody who walked away from you, and now they're coming back in, and you guys are finally going to get it right, and lastly, um, some tourists out there, you are wrapping up all this old energy with old connections, and it's finally completing. You're putting down that Ten of Wands. And there's a beautiful new connection coming into your life, whether it's a new friend or new romance. You all are wanting different things. But here it is, the Two of Cups, the coming together of energies. And it's solid, a solid commitment through the Page of Pentacles. After we have learned our um, lessons and balanced our karma through the Ten of Wands. And here it is, temperance, balance, flow, harmony, peace, love, happiness, okay? That is where you are headed, Taurus. That's what's going on in your life. Um, whether in an existing, a returning, or a brand new romance. And 
the heavy stuff, the ups and downs, the drama, the trauma, you're done with that. That was all part of karmic balance and emotional lessons you were learning. It's like the hardest part is over, at least for now, okay? Oh yeah, the hardest part is over. Three of Swords, the heart getting healed because of connection. Ten of Swords, it's the end of rock bottom. Finally, commitment and stability where there was none. Queen of Pentacles, you don't have to do it all on your own anymore, Taurus. You're laying down those Ten of Wands and Knight of Swords. Clear communication, truth, clarity, understanding. All right? The end of heartache and heartbreak, the end of the Ten of Swords, um, the confusion, the heaviness, the ups and downs, the drama, like you're coming out of all of that. And I see all of your relationships really balancing out. And the relationships in your life, the friends or the family um, or even romance, if there's just they want to keep being drama, it's just always something, always something. You will now have the emotional strength to end that connection because you're having an awakening inside since you have completed these lessons and your emotional body is expanding and what you once would tolerate you it's insufferable now because of this new version of yourself okay your heart your soul is desiring true unity through family through friendship through romance and if that's not what is offered you have the strength to pull away and do what's best for you, okay? But I see the worst is over for now. I mean, we have lessons all throughout life, right? But for now, Taurus, you're on the upswing where things are meant to flow and be harmonious, okay? And I'm telling you, with the sun, it's either this beautiful transformation of existing connection, returning connection, or a new connection coming in and it's solid and it's true and it's part of your destiny and this connection is meant to walk with you you're done with ten of swords ten of wands it's time for ten of cups and ten of pentacles energy so let's pull another card tolerance you appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everybody. And so this tolerance, you've learned the difference between tolerance, compassion, compromise, opposed to extreme self-sacrificing. Like you've learned that lesson and so you know that balance and you're not going to go through that again. You won't let that happen in your life again. You will not sacrifice to that point no matter how much somebody may mean to you because you've learned those lessons, you've balanced those energies and it's time for something very solid, okay? Where you don't feel that you have to tolerate and endure nor do you feel that you're being just tolerated or settled for. It's a balance of energy in your emotional body and the way that you come together with other people. All right, let's pull another card. Look at that, heart and soul. When making your decisions, take into account what your heart and soul are saying. Sometimes the mind can deceive us. Choose through love, not through fear. So you might be a little shy, a little skittish from um, what you've gone through as this uh, beautiful transformation takes place. But Spirit is saying to trust. You've The worst is over. You've done the work. And now it's time for the blessing to come in, Taurus. So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.